I were to make out with a movie star, it would probably be Shannon Sossman because I've had a crush on her since, what was that, Rules of Attraction? I'd be Ryan Gosling, I think. <laughs> he would care that, that I liked it, and that's what I want. He'd cuddle afterwards, yeah, I think. Totally. Yeah, totally. He's, he's a cuddler for yeah, sure. For sure. Kate Can't Swim is about two best friends who have to deal with a changing relationship when one of them comes back from abroad with a strange new lover in tow, which is my character. It's kind of a coming of age story in a way. The two couples go to a cabin for a weekend and the clashing um, personalities mixed with this new person coming into the group, mixed with sort of just this end of the summer, end of your 20s energy. Things happen and throw a wrench into the wheels of things. Jen and I, for the past five years, really have kind of been talking about wanting to make our own material and we just came across an idea that originally we thought was gonna be a short film and a comedy. When I was going from role to role to role, being like producer, da da da, and then I was needed as an actor, I just show up and listen and try to just be in the moment because that's all I had. Because my brain was in so many places, I had to just tune everything out, completely compartmentalize this person and become just the four of us in a cabin alone. It was unusual having to wear several hats, not only being an actor, but also being the director. For me, it requires two very different parts of the brain. One that's kind of taking the macro view and one that's the micro view. And so that was a bit of a challenge to juggle, but what was really fantastic was we developed the film knowing that we would have at least two months of rehearsals beforehand. By the time we stepped onto set, we just knew so innately what we were doing that for me it was much easier to just take on the role of director because I knew that I could trust them and I didn't really have to say much, I just had to kind of like guide it. And also we had the immense help of our creative producer Evan Jonakite who was a collaborative director so he was an invaluable help. You can tell through the chemistry and through a rapport on the screen because a lot of the film is 90% guided improvisation. I think that that shows because we're all very like actively present and things happen in the moment that were unexpected that I think really worked for us. We got the idea in March of 2015, started writing it, we got the funding, we got the crew, and we shot it in August, September of that same year. Jen deserves just like an insane amount of credit because she's right, if I had my way, I would have probably sat on this for like at least a year and a half more and just like gone down the rabbit hole. I mean, she did so much of the work on the film and I think, uh, I'm just so grateful that, that we got to do that. <laughs> Flawless in its execution of portraying real relationships with believably nuanced characters, I'm proud and honored to bestow the jury's honorable mention award to the outstanding Kate Can Swim. To be standing here right now is remarkable. The films that I've seen here have been revelatory. And, and I, just, well, I just want Jen to say something too because she's my rock and I also want to thank everyone on the team. Thank you so much, I guess. I don't know what to say. I'm...